So as we discussed earlier, the Laravel generator is a huge time saver uh, because it will help us to do a lot of things very automatically and it, may, it basically may, helps me personally to build an app of I would have used three months to build. I'll build that in two weeks. All right, so the last thing we did was run composer updates. So the next thing we're gonna do is go to config slash app dot php and paste the the following uh this in the services all right so we're gonna go to config go to our app go to config app dot php so we're basically looking for services look at the providers that we're looking for so at the bottom here we're gonna paste what we have i pasted it so there we have it now the next one we we'll scroll down because this is where we're gonna paste the next one so the next one is we should add al aliases so we copy these aliases and um, we'll copy we'll get back to our code and we'll go to the aliases at the bottom there we can paste them so I'm just gonna adjust and we're good so generally uh, this should be enough but then we have to publish vendor from copy so we'll go to our command line enter and um, it's going to ask you all these options just choose zero enter and it's complete now the next thing we're going to have to do is um we're going to have to open this file and add this so we we'll copy this we'll open app providers route service provider in the ma ma map api routes we'll paste this so we'll go to um, app, app providers, route service provider. Look at it. Um, look at what we're looking for. Um, map web routes. Really? Map API route. This is what we're looking for. We'll copy it. Great. We've replaced that. And then um, the last thing, we we publish in and publish. So all these are just simple basic steps. As long as you're taking it one after the other without jumping any step, you'll be good. And uh, it created some files for us. We don't need to see them now. Now the next thing, let's let it, let's let's even run our app so you see some difference. So I'm gonna restart my server. Press the up arrow key. Hit enter. I uh, restarted my server so I'm just gonna have to copy okay go to create a new uh, tab on my browser 127.0 okay we're good hit enter so basically this is my server this is my app so if I click on login so as you can see it's using the basic templates but uh, this particular Laravel generator helps us to install an admin section admin template easily and the admin template that it helps us to install is called admin lte.io so visit admin lte.io just to get a glimpse of the powerful template that it can install for us automatically look at the templates and it's free so if i click on live preview you will see look at a very awesome let me pan to the right a very awesome beautiful super beautiful template very beautiful oops templates nice drop downs oh let me just refresh this sorry you have super awesome drop downs you have all these um nice cool stuff widgets so it's look at it has so many widgets it has so many um multi-level stuff not level one stuff so many cool stuff um uh, even forms so any type of form you want to create is already here you just need to copy the code calendars so um it doesn't matter what you want to design um this particular template has everything so we even chat look at chat look at different type of chats donut chats everything is already here you just need to copy um what you need look at layout options there are different types of layout options uh this one is top navigation Look at this this is one layout option assuming that your user is logged out or something if you go back you will see another layout option uh, where you have all this boxed 
So these are just super cool box does not touch the edges and you have fixed you have com collapsed sidebar you see all these are just super super awesome so we're gonna um, use that Laravel installer to install this um, automatically for us so that we we don't have to um, struggle with it all right so uh, we're gonna have to go to Laravel generator so we'll follow this link publish layout command or this they, are, they lead to the same place this guy so um, to publish layout command you have to use this so um, you can now come here and click on layout publish layout it asks you all this file because it tried to replace all those files so what I will do is to just save my login code because it's going to overwrite it so we'll go to resources resources views auth login it will be over over overwritten so i want to copy this first copy this link just in case okay so then uh, we can go back to our code and run it so yes it doesn't matter if you don't copy this don't worry uh, i'll still rewrite it in the future so it's, it's trying to overwrite look at app.blade it wants to overwrite this app.blade that is inside here look at app.blade so it's going to overwrite some of these files because it's trying to redesign them all right so i'll, I'll type y in my keyboard hit enter y 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 enter and that's all we're done so right now if we get back to our code, our app, and um, um, if we click on login, you will see what has happened. See, it has redesigned this. Look at how cool our login page is now. Super, super awesome. All right. So what we just need to do is to get back and fix the um, the Facebook login icon here and change the name of this. All right. So um, thank you very much. See you in the next video. In the next video, we'll log in and see how awesome the login is. I think we should even do it here. Um, login slash Facebook.